I tend to like to take the four thin pens that are normally listed at the top of the My Pens toolbar and change them to four more thick pens with um, different colors than the standard black, blue, green, and red. Um, the thin pen is just a little bit too thin for most of my tastes. I like to go at the thicker level. Uh, what you want to do first is select the pen that you're going to want to change. So I'll start with this top one for right now. You're going to go to Tools. You're going to go to Writing Tools and you're going to select Pens. And then down near the bottom you should have an option that says Customize Current Pen. Uh, that's why you want to make sure you choose your pen first before you come in here otherwise you'll have to double back and do it again. So I will customize my current pen. At this point you can change the name of the pen to match the color that you're working with. Um, the pen color I chose was this nice violet. Uh, if you hover over the actual color it'll tell you what color it's supposed to be. Uh, so you've got some different varieties here. Once you have the pen color that you're happy with, you'll also want to change the pen thickness. Pen thickness for the thick pens is normally 0.5 of a millimeter. Uh, so that's where I change mine and keep them basically all pretty much the same thickness. Once you've made your changes, you'll click OK. And if you want to do this for all four of the pens up at the top, you'll want to go through and individually select each pen and again go through tools writing tools, pens, and customize the current pen so that you can change it again. Now let's say you have changed your four pens, but there's still another color you'd like to use. Well, pick any one of your pens, and you should have in a couple places uh, this little color wheel. Uh, that's going to tell you what color your pen is going to be when you write. So if you click on the little arrow next to it, it lets you select whichever color you'd like. And once you change the color down here at the bottom, it indicates what your custom pen is. So at the moment it's aqua with a 0.5 millimeter thickness. Let's say I want a thicker pen size. Well, the little line thickness uh, icon next to the color wheel will let you change that. Um, you can go all the way up from 0.25 of a millimeter to 12 millimeters, so lots of really variety of choices from thin to thick. Uh, again, if you change it here, it only affects then this one um, pen at the very bottom. If you hover over it, it'll tell you what the color is. Uh, and actually, if you bring it back to the screen, you'll also see sort of a, a thicker version of the pen that I'm writing with right at the moment. Now, my highlighters, I've also changed uh, the pink to be a little bit paler than the pink that's standard. So I'm going to choose the pink highlighter and I'm going to go into make changes there. So tools, writing tools, pens, and customize current pen. The standard pink that's listed as the highlighter is normally this really, really bright pink. And for me, that's just way too bright, especially when I'm using this in the classrooms. It's way too bright of a color. So I choose actually the rose color to use as uh, my pink highlighter. Um, pretty much most of these colors down near the bottom are nice and light. Uh, you will have to be careful if you are using a projector and see um, how well it does project up on the screen. Some of the uh, blues can be a little tricky depending on the actual um, LCD uh, projector you're dealing with. So you may want to actually play with this in the classroom to see just exactly what colors work well for you. Uh, along those same lines, even though I've changed these four colors up at the top um, to be other than the black, blue, green, and red, they aren't always different enough to be really noticeable for students in the classroom. So truly for the most part I tend to stick with using the four standard colors, um, but if I'm using anything um, outside the classroom for my normal note taking, uh, I like to have more colors um, to choose from than just the standards. So that's how I customize my pens to make them a little more usable in OneNote.